abusive partner, you should be able to move out and break your lease without issue. At least that's the idea behind the domestic violence protections for renters in Utah. But as KSL investigator Daniela Rivera found out, that is not always the reality. It was just a hard situation because it just felt like no matter where I was at, like nobody was on my side. Jasmine Stanley left that bad relationship four years ago. She's in a better place with a new partner now. Back in 2019, she told her apartment complex in West Jordan she was moving out, but her ex was staying put. She turned in the paperwork required of victims who want to break a lease in Utah, including a police report describing the allegations. I don't feel like a victim of a violent crime should have to pay to get displaced to like no longer have a home, you know? Like. But when her ex stopped paying rent about three months later, the Novi Apartments sued both of them in order to collect. The case dragged on for over two years, at times making Jasmine question her decision. Maybe I should just go back, you know, like he's calling me and stuff like that. Under state law, the victim owes 45 days of rent, but in Jasmine's case, her old boyfriend stayed, so Jasmine says she owes nothing. And this notice from the nonprofit Utah Legal Services seems to agree. It states one or more co-tenants remaining in the unit probably allows you to vacate without paying anything. While the apartment complex declined to comment on this story, Paul Smith with the Rental Housing Association of Utah says it's fair for property owners to charge a fee. Landlords are victims too. He says they can suffer property damage, lost rent, and other issues. We're not equating them as equal for, by any means, but there are um, activities and um, actions that create damage for the landlord. No one tracks the number of Utah evictions with a tie to domestic violence, but advocates tell us they regularly help clients get out of leases and pay off eviction debts using a mix of public money and private funding. One source is the Home Safe Fund, which covers those housing costs and others like deposits and utilities. Utah adopted the program in 2019. The average request for help from Home Safe, $1,263, with more than $216,000 paid out since July 2022. Those funds run out really quickly. Gabriella Archuleta is director of public policy for the YWCA of Utah. She says relationship violence and financial abuse tend to go hand in hand. So when a person escapes, they often leave with nothing. Picking up the pieces that have been slowly, often over time, just you know, completely shattered. I wasn't allowed to have more than like $4 on me at the same time, at like a time, you know? So having to pay that much money would not have happened. The lawsuit naming Jasmine was eventually dismissed in 2021, but she says the toll it took was immense. You make like a giant leap forward, but then there's all these like little things like trying to grab you and like pull you back in, you know? Utah is one of 27 states allowing tenants to get out of a lease early due to domestic violence. Just a handful charge a fee, and Utah's 45-day charge is among the highest in the nation. But thanks to a new state law, next month the cost will drop to just one month's rent, hopefully easing the burden for survivors. Mike Andini, 